what do you see as that um, from the classroom level or the like the central office level or building level that leaders in a school and I say leaders that's anybody a teacher is a leader of minimum 100 to 150 people every day uh, what do you see something the leaders can do to impact their culture for the positive create as many resources as you possibly can to get your parents as involved as possible in the lives and the education of your children and every resource you just said is available to me and my family right here, right now in my living room without ever having to go to a school. That doesn't make the school void. Yeah. It means there is an exponential amount of sub supplement available for me. Like I hear what my kid is learning. I mean, Ezra's two and a half. He goes to a little Montessori school right now. And so I, what songs are you singing? What are you learning? What are you reading? And guess what? At home, his room looks like it looks in his classroom. Like he helps me cut things. He helps me make food. He helps me prepare stuff. He helps me because that's a part of uh, what they're telling me. The expert is telling me. Hey, Ezra, Ezra, here come sit in dad's lap. Oh, you want some more water? Okay. I think that's the thing that people are, that's the thing that I know is true about what he's doing. They're, they're the boss. They're the, like, I'm taking that. I'm hoping in their expertise to then create that environment for me and my family at home also. And so I think resources to be done are created are the space where we're willing to say, hey, let's, let's create places we don't need to recreate the classroom outside of the classroom again because the classroom already exists. So how do we create resources and environment for parents to be engaged, to understand what their kids are doing in order to allow them to want to participate in such a way that to me, like that's the difference maker. I know lots of kids, they go to lots of schools who may or may not be the very best school ever. It's in whatever way we want to gauge it to say it's good or it isn't good, but they have parents who care and are involved and the schools provide resources for those. I mean, I'm doing with Ezra's little school. It's even just a little, it's a little Montessori school. There's maybe 30 kids that go to school there. We're, I'm doing an event in three weeks. It's a, how to establish your personal values, your family values and make decisions based off of from value driven aspect as opposed to just necessitating, you know, necessitating a need I need right here, right now. Well, that's because I like that. I value that. I want to give that. Do people pay me for that professionally? Yes. Do I get paid a lot of money to do that professionally? Yes. Am I giving up my time on a Tuesday night for three hours to talk to a group of parents that I don't really know that have no direct impact on my life? Yes. Because because it's a resource that could be provided to conversation that's not being had someplace else that I know has a direct implication on their life, their students' life, their education, their ability. If we think that our teachers are the experts and they provide us with resources, how many of the parents out there are twice as experts with resources outside of all those things? If we could collectively create that space, it's all of our job. It's everyone's job to be in education. It is everyone. I'm hoping that educators are provided to be the expert expert to do the things and give me secondhand what I need to be doing else to supplement that. That's good. That, and that you're absolutely, absolutely, I'm fully on board with what you're saying because I feel like schools don't, they don't, they don't invest in the parents, even the parents that are willing to help. The problem you run into is like, they're almost like only allowed to do like manual labor. Like, okay, up here, come up here and run copies for us or come up here and do this. Like, yeah. whereas, like you said, they're the experts in certain things. Let them come up and pour into other parents or the, even pour into the teachers or the students about those things. So I totally agree.